In this video, we'll solve the equation sine z equals pi. So sine z is e to the i z minus e to the minus i z all over 2i, and that's equal to pi. So we're going to cross multiply. So we have e to the i z minus e to the minus i z is equal to 2 times pi i. Multiply both sides by e to the i z, leaving us with e to the 2 i z minus 2 pi i times e to the i z minus 1 equals 0. So e to the i z is equal to 2 pi i plus minus square root. Now if we do negative 2 pi i, we square that, that would be 4 pi squared i squared, which is minus 4 pi squared. So this will be minus 4 pi squared. And minus 4 ac would be minus 4 ac, so that would just be 4. And then we can factor out the 4, the negative 4, leaving us with pi squared minus 1 all over 2, which will be 2 pi i plus minus, factoring out negative 4, so square root of negative 4 is 2 times square root of negative 1, which is i. So this will be plus minus 2i square root of pi squared minus 1. And this is going to be greater than 0, so the square root is going to be pos uh, real over 2. So now we have e to the iz equals pi i plus minus i square root of pi squared minus 1, right? Yes, uh, let's factor out i. So we're going to get pi plus minus square root of pi squared minus 1. Right. So this is what we have. Now with this, either way is bigger than 0. So pi squared minus 1 is going to be less than square root of pi squared because we have minus 1, which is equal to pi. So pi minus square root of pi squared minus 1 we have to change the bounds, so this will be greater than pi minus pi, which is equal to zero, so this checks out. So we, can, we are allowed to ln both sides. So iz is the natural log of i times pi plus minus square root of pi squared minus one. And we can separate these, so the ln i plus ln of pi plus minus square root of pi squared minus one. So now we're going to divide by i, or we can multiply by negative i because that's the same thing. So we have ln of i plus square root plus ln of pi plus minus square root of pi squared minus 1. Right? Yeah. ln i, so i is r e to the i theta. But, but r is obviously 1, and in this case, i is here, so the angle will be pi over 2. So this is 1 in the imaginary axis. So this will be 1 times e to the i pi over 2. So this will be ln of e to the i pi over 2, which is just i pi over 2. So we have z is equal to negative i times ln i, which is i pi over 2, plus natural log of pi plus square root of pi squared minus 1, plus or minus square root of pi squared minus 1. i times i is negative 1, so this will just be pi over 2. So this will be i squared, which is negative times negative 1, which is 1, plus, so we have minus i ln of pi plus minus square root of pi squared minus 1. And since we show that this is greater than 0, this is we can keep it this way. And this is the answer to the question.